Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the ICO channel. I wanted to do a quick recording for people who are having some trouble with their Meister and getting the hubs to work on the uh, Meister. You can see I've got my um, USB port here connected to a, another hub. Um, you really don't need them because there's six ports anyway, but uh, some people have trouble. And the steps to check are as follows. First, make sure you've got uh, where the power comes in. You can see my power comes into a um, Y splitter. This is a splitter. And then the splitter goes into the Meister in both the power, which is the D10 nano board, and then the hub. If the power doesn't go to the hub, it's not going to work. So make sure you have a Y splitter. This is kind of what they look like. You can see, you know, it's on one end. It has just a uh, socket where your uh, power adapter connects to. And then this side connects to uh, both the hub and the D10 Nano. So that's step number one. So if that's, uh, you've done that and it still doesn't work, the next thing you want to make sure is you've got the um, hub bridge. This is the bridge that connects the hub to the D10 Nano. You got to make sure you connect that so that works as well. And if this is loose for any reason, it's not going to work. So just make sure you're putting a little bit of pressure, not too much. Um, it looks like it's out, but it's actually in. And just if you just move it left and right a little bit, and uh, and that should you know basically take care of it. Um, so that's basically what you need to know. But the, if it's you still have trouble, there's the, two other things to check. Um, the hub could be bad, or the D10 nano board could be bad. Um, so first thing to do is make sure your D10 nano is working. So what you can do is disconnect your bridge like this, take it out, and then you have a USB port here, which is the, your D10 nano. So if you connect something like this, um, and um, on one end it has a uh, USB port and the other end is a micro USB. You can get a cable like this from the iCode website or Amazon. Um, you can just connect that here and then um, connect this to the USB device and that should work. So that will verify that your USB uh, port is working on the D10 Nano. So if that works and your hub is not working, which means either your bridge is bad or the hub is bad. If the bridge is bad, that's the next thing you want to check. So you can use the same cable that I showed you and maybe an adapter like this where it will uh, basically be a micro USB to micro USB or you can just get a cable that's a micro USB to micro USB and then you can use that as a bridge. So you just connect uh, one end to the D10 Nano like this. Oops. Down. And then the other end to the hub, like that. And that acts as the bridge. And hopefully that'll solve your problem. And that means the bridge would have been bad. If this doesn't work, then you know you've concluded that the bridge is bad. This is what the bridge looks. I mean, this is you've concluded that the hub is bad. These hubs can go bad if you by accident um, powered your unit. You know, when you plugged in your Power adapter, some people connect a 12 volt adapter instead of a 5 volt adapter, and that does blow out this bridge. So, for some reason, if it gets 12 volts in it through the uh, Y cable, um, this chip will fry. So, most likely, then that you will have to replace this board. All right, I hope that's helpful and uh, thumbs up, and talk to you later.